Hello everyone, welcome in today's video. I will try to check today if it is possible to do a Perpetuum Mobile of the Lexus GS Hybrid. As you see the battery is almost empty, I will try to empty it a bit more yet. Ok, I can reset the speedometer uh, and we will check if it will be possible to charge the battery by just going downhill. I have ahead of me quite long road, uh, around 3 kilometers, or even a bit longer of just downhill. So we will check if the battery will actually charge during that way or not, or it won't be enough. I will try to use brake quite much to, I don't know if you can see that on the cam, but I'm trying to charge the car all the time. So I will just check how it goes. Later on if we have some luck I will try to drive just in the electro mode to check if the distance for the charging and driving will be the same. Of course it won't be really honest test because we are charging the car by going downhill and I will try to drive later on rather flat area but yeah let's do it just for fun not for any scientific records so I hope it will be interesting We have already a little bit more in the battery. I will check how long time it takes. Uh, now we are using a little bit of energy. At the end. Charging all the time. Still not okay. We have one percentage more so it's going quite good I'm quite curious how long distance it will take to charge the battery because I have never done such test before I'm glad I found such road because here it's perfect place for charging. I don't really have to use gas pedal at all. It's all the way downhill. Sometimes more, sometimes less, but generally I think you could drive that way even with engine turned off. Um, hope you can see that view here. Oh, battery is almost full not that much missing so I hope we can do that we have two kilometers for now I'm trying to charge it as I can in that way okay almost completely full so that's interesting, we have almost two and a half kilometer for now, two and a half kilometer and the battery is almost full. That's quite impressive I have to say, because, okay, full battery, 2.6 kilometers and uh, there was maybe 50 or 100 meters where I had to use the energy a bit because the road wasn't that much downhill so but it's still charging so probably it's still not completely full so let's let's wait and check what will happen ah, okay i can see it now here on the speedometer that it's not even charging any longer so it probably was full I will check it later on the video because I didn't really realize in which moment it stopped charging the battery so 
so yeah in the worst case it was like two and a half kilometer i think i will check exactly when i edit the video but then it's not so bad score because i made a video some time ago where i uh, when i checked the distance on the battery and as i remember it was 1.9 kilometers so two and a half kilometers to church almost two kilometers to drive not that bad okay now i do a reset I will <clears throat> now i will try to drive flat and to see how it goes how long distance we can do I hope I can drive all that road without turning on the V6 engine because then our test won't really work that well so let's check how long time I will be able to keep the car just on the electric mode hope there won't be any problems on the road otherwise it will be quite hard to keep engine turned off per hour, smooth driving, so far seems quite good, I hope we can continue like that, of course there will be moments when the battery will be also charging if the road goes a little bit downhill or a little bit uphill, so the test won't be really accurate, as you know it's anyway cheated because we charge the battery during going downhill, now we are going on the flat area, so it's not honest test, but as I told before, let's do it just for fun, to check if in some extremely good conditions you can create a Perpetuum Mobile from Lexus. Okay, we had some problem here, probably a bike. over one kilometer battery is still almost full so far seems really good accelerate smoothly enough without turning on the V6 because if I kick the gas pedal a bit too much then the engine turns on never mind in which condition the battery is it's sometimes a bit irritating and 1.7 kilometers and the battery still don't seem empty I'm afraid this test will go much better than it should that will mean that I cheated a bit too much with it over two kilometers yeah, this test is definitely cheated too much now we are charging the battery again to find conditions on the road where it really would be accurate because then I would need extremely flat road without any queues or another cars and it's not really happening two and a half kilometer 
So as you see, we already did the distance, which was enough to charge the battery. And now the battery is still full, so... Nah, I accidentally turned on the engine. Fortunately, just for a moment. It seems like we'll have to make a circle because the road continues through the city and that's not really what I want in that test. have over three kilometers. I don't know if that test makes any sense right now. It's way too much cars. I could do that at night. Yeah, the engine turned on. I have to turn it off somehow. Okay, we have the battery. Seems that now it's going to be a bit more smooth. We have just three lines in the battery. Sorry for the engine. Let's check how will it go. Two and okay, three and a half kilometer. The battery will be empty soon. Yes, now we have the engine. Battery is too empty, so we need to charge it. Okay, so the result is that. Lexus can be a perpetuum mobile in some extreme cases because we needed two and a half kilometer to charge the battery in extremely good conditions and right now we needed three and a half kilometer to make it empty so seems that works to be honest I didn't expect it to go that well of course, the test is a bit cheated, it's not fair, it's a bit provocative, I know. But I'm still quite surprised with the result. I expected that it may be exactly the same distance if we do it in such a way to charge the battery downhill and then try to drive on the flat road. So, yeah, that's surprising, I have to admit, I'm surprised. Okay, so see you in the next videos.